maths lessons, fractions, equations, ratio proportions. Oh, go away! You were all divided into sets. The top sets were filled with young Zuckerbergs and Einsteins, whilst the bottom sets were filled with the future stars of Love Island. There'd always be that one kid who wrote the word boobies on their calculator. Oi mate, look what I did. You do realise that the only experience you're ever going to have of sucking on a pair of boobies are your mums. The reason that so many of us are good at lying is because of moments like this. Stevie, why have you not done the my maths homework? I did do it sir, but I forgot to log out. Ugh, there was that maths starter pack that we all had to buy. I get why we have a ruler. I get why we have a protractor. But what the hell are these? Like, come on, is this some kind of boomerang? Boomerang should stay over on Instagram. Th this ain't no maths object. This is what Gordon Ramsay uses to cut up his vegetables. We all got trolled by this question. Right class, what is one times one? Sir, sir, it's two. Ah, uh, it's one. I don't need this. Did anyone else get through maths with the help of this absolute banger? I R squared sounds like area to me. But there's the fact that apparently showing you working out is more important than actually getting the correct answer. That awful moment when maths goes from numbers to letters. There's all those useless buttons on those scientific calculators. And during the exam, you'd always get asked stupid questions like this. Stevie buys 74 WKDs on a night out. He only drinks two of them. What does Stevie do next? <laughs> Hello you old flutes, my name is Stevie Nose and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure you give it a thumbs up and drop a comment below, I'd really appreciate it. Now, I ain't gonna lie to you guys, I found maths really difficult. It was literally up there with science for me. Oh, don't you worry guys, I've got a science lessons video coming very soon. But in terms of maths, when I was at school, there were two papers for GCSE. There was the higher paper for all the young Zuckerbergs and Einsteins, and there was the foundation paper for all the future Love Island stars. I haven't turned into either of those. So basically, to get a C in the higher paper, you had to get like 40% of the exam correct. And in the foundation paper, you had to get about 75% correct to get a C. However, the higher paper was a lot harder. So my maths teacher asked me which paper I wanted to do. And guys, I just wanted a C, so I thought the odds of me getting that C was probably a lot better if I did the higher paper, right? Hell no! I did just one practice higher paper and came out of an E. An E! So I thought, now nah, stop this. I took the foundation paper and somehow came out of a C. But when I, <laughs> when I, <laughs> hold on. But when I think back to my math lessons, there's one moment that I'll never forget. And it has absolutely nothing to do with maths itself. It just so happened that this moment happened during a math lesson. So I'm on a table of four and the girl sitting opposite me gets out a pack of gum. And bless her, she offers all of us a piece of chewing gum. What was her name? I think, I think it was Emily. I'm sure it was Emily. Emily, if you're watching, you're an absolute legend. So we're all chewing on this piece of gum. But one of my problems when it comes to chewing gum is, I do this. Mm, mm, mm. I've got a big mouth, ain't I? So I'm minding my own business, trying to work out why the alphabet has invaded a subject full of numbers. Then I hear, Stevie, are you chewing gum? Nah, of course not, miss. She literally just hits back at me like, bin it. And I was like, Ugh. But as I was walking towards the bin, I thought, if I'm going down, I'm taking everybody with me. So I get up, and just fire back with this line. Yeah, because I'm the only one on this table chewing gum. Emily never gave me a piece of chewing gum again. Right, that's all from me, you old flutes. Make sure you click like, comment below, hit that subscribe button, turn those post notifications on. <gasps> Whatever you're doing, keep going, keep smiling, keep striving, and remember, who knows? Stevie knows. See you later.